Hello everybody and welcome back. In this tip, I'm going to show you how to select a range of dates with a set action, put a reference band behind those, and compute the total sales. For example, if I lasso these months, my date range moves, and my total sales at the top changes. Select a different set, and those change as well. We're starting with a chart of sales by month. The first thing we need to do is create a month custom date. Right click on order date, choose create custom date. Name and month, make sure you choose date value and change the detail to months. Click on OK. Drag that field on top of the months on the column shelf. Right click on the month field in the data pane and choose create set. Notice because I created a custom date, we now see the month and the year and not an individual date. Click on OK. Create a new calculated field. Let's call it the min month. Our calculation is the minimum if the month set, then month, end. So this is saying if it's in the month set, return to month and then take the minimum. But we need to return that month for every mark in the view. So let's wrap the whole thing in mustachios. Click on OK. Right click on min month and choose duplicate. Right click on the copy and choose edit. Name this one max month. Change the aggregation from min to max. Click on OK. Right click and drag max month to the detail shelf and pick continuous months. Click on OK. Right click on min month and drag it to the detail shelf. Choose month and click OK. I'm going to right click on my month set and show the set so that you can see what happens with the set action. Go up to worksheet on the menu and then actions. Choose add action, change set values. Let's call it update months set. We want to run the action on select. The target set is our month set. When we run the action, we want to assign the values to the set. And we, when we clear the action, we want to keep the set values. Click on OK and click on OK again. Now when I select a bunch of points, you'll notice I get check marks in my month set. That's because those are the months that I lassoed. Next, let's go to the analytics pane and drag on a reference band for the table for the month. Our minimum value is going to be month of min month. Our maximum is going to be the max month. I'm going to turn off both of my labels and both of my tooltips. I'm going to set the lines to maybe a dashed line, and I'm going to set the fill to maybe a lighter gray. Lastly, untick the recalculate option. Click on OK. Now when I select a bunch of marks, you can see my reference band moves. The next thing we want to do is create a calculation that tells us if the date is in the range. So let's create a new calculated field. I'm going to call it in range. The formula is month is greater than or equal to the min month and month is less than or equal to the max month. Click on OK. If we drag that to the color shelf, you'll see that we get orange for the area that's between the reference bands, but we get this weird blue line that's connecting across. That's because the in range field is a discrete dimension. We want to leave it discrete, but we need to make it a measure. So right click on in range on the color shelf and choose attribute. And now you can see we get a gradual shading, but you really can't notice it. Primarily what we're looking for here is that we can see a different line color in that reference band. Now we want to calculate the sales that are in that range. Let's create a new calculated field. I'm going to call it sales in range. The formula is int in range times sales. And then we want to wrap that whole calculation inside of a sum and then put mustachios outside of that to bring back the total. Click on OK. Drag sales in range to the detail shelf. Now we want to put the sales and the dates in the title. So double click on the title and I'm going to put sales. And then on my second row, I'm going to insert my sales in range. Go to a new line and I'm going to say between my min month and my max month. Do a bit of formatting, maybe make the last line smaller, make the sales a nice big number, maybe bold, click on OK. And now we can see we have 483,000 in sales between November 2021 and July 2022. If we select a different range, you can see the dates change as well as our sales. Now you can do the same thing with quarters or years or days, but just follow these same steps. But instead of creating a custom date for month, you would create a custom date for day or quarter or whichever level of granularity you'd like to see. If you found this useful, please give it a like. That'll help others find it too. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click on subscribe.
I create lots of content every single week and I want you to learn along with me.